guys, this is your girl Mizuki and welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday. Everything's all big backwards. So sorry for posting in different days, but I have something super, super excited and I decided to go back onto the bandwagon with my art snacks. I know uh, that I did a year break. I had a lot of things going on. I couldn't keep up with the art snacks and posting videos. So I didn't, it didn't make sense to have these come to me and not even post a video about them. Yes, I have them and I'm ready to start over with the brand new year with these guys. I love them from the beginning and I definitely recommend these guys. If you guys like to get like different type of art uh, supplies, this is definitely the way to go. Art snacks is definitely the way to go. You can definitely follow them on Instagram as well. So let's continue and opening the box. So what I have in the box is they always come really nice and prepared. Look at this, all the art supplies. All packaged up cute it says share your unboxing with us at art snacks and hashtag art snacks don't worry don't worry I'll hashtag your asses we have a couple of things in here uh, the main things here that they always give us is like a sticker so I'm definitely gonna put this in my sticker book and then like a little cat oh, candy here from Laffy Taffy. I do not like Laffy Taffy. So this will go in my candy jar when people come into my house. Another cool thing that comes in the box is like a little menu of all the supplies that you receive and the prices. So I don't really have to search for the prices. That's another cool thing I, I love about Art Snacks. So let's continue and opening up what we have in our... I completely forgot to mention what month it is for this art snack so this is for july guys i completely forgot about that the most important of the video okay guys so this is the art snacks for the month of july okay, so let's continue with the unwrapping here i have a couple of things here i already see that i have something here that i have already all right so let's get to the menu so the first one i'm gonna read out is the museum the museum the museum Emerald Artist Brush by Weber. This brush is ranges from $5.99 to $10.49 retail range. And then uh, depending on the, uh, the size of the brush. So obviously the smaller the brush, probably the cheaper it is. The bigger the brush, the more expensive it, the more expensive it is. So let's continue reading about this product. The Museum uh, Emerald Artist Brush by Weber is truly a gem. It's exclusive patent handled lets your fingers uh, reset gently in indentation to relieve fatigue and uh, maximizes performance the durable synthetic taclon bristles provide unlimited control and can withstand extensive use in oil acrylic and watercolor that's not that bad because say if you you're that person that only uses oils or acrylics this brush is very durable it's suitable for various applications and techniques so try it out with your new marabou prefix aqua ink okay so maybe do we have an ink in here so let's first let's talk about this uh brush here this is as you, look i wish i had my camera i can't really go close with this, this is, i'm filming with my iphone because my camera is uh in the hospital right now getting fixed up so this is the uh, museum emerald this is it says it's bright and the number on the brush that they gave me is 6201 and this is the size of the brush is really tiny which is really good for me because i like to use fine uh brush tips to do fine lines and here you go guys very cool it has like a cute not cute a really thin grip here it changes its form right where you have a grip so it's more comfortable between your fingers and the length is not that bad i hate when brushes are super tall long because you're like it hits you in your face so that's good and then it says it'll be really good with my ink here that they gave us i don't i don't know if it's part of the, the yes it is it's part of the box i thought it was like an extra freebie but no so the the next thing that they were talking about is so the next thing we're gonna go to is the marabou graphics aqua ink and this retails for three dollars and 99 cents so this is a new new product it says here on the little menu like it has like little codes for us you know and this is what it looks like it's a watercolor ink oh i can't wait to try this and uh, let's see let's read about this so the marabou 
has a new addition to their exciting graphics line, Aqua Ink. This ultra bright pigment watercolor ink is trans transparent and high light fast. Mm -hmm. Even after drying, the ink can be completely dissolved with water. Okay, so that's pretty good. So say if I get dried up, you can definitely live it up with some water and move it around. It says making the creative uh, possibilities endless. The bright hues can be mixed together. It says the bright hues can be mixed together. So pick up some more colors in Art Snack Shop and get experimenting. Okay, so the color that they gave me today is like a orange, more orange than a red. And if you guys like, like say if you did get the Art uh, Snacks for the month of June, July, you can actually order more colors here. So uh, I'm gonna test it out, and if I like the like how it is, hey. I'm gonna get like the whole collection and probably review it too. We're gonna try this. Let it give it some time to dry. All right, so this is dry. So let's go into with some water here and Let's see if this is true. You can actually revive it while it's... And this is now watercolor paper, but okay. Okay, it is working. Look at that, guys. All right, now, now I changed my mind. This is really good. I guess it was just depending on the paper. Look at that. And it was dry. This totally passed. I love it guys this is the graphics aqua ink if you want more colors i'm definitely gonna get more and purchase more colors maybe like a total of maybe five more colors if they have it i'm gonna check them out and yeah all right so the next product i would have to say you know guys i'm a big 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 fan of the amalto colors so now i don't even have this like double-sided when i saw it i was like what they have a double-sided now so let's get to checking this out all right so i'm gonna read right here so malto one for all acrylic twin marker so this retails for ten dollars and 25 cents guys ten dollars and 25 cents it's it's a big very expensive oh uh, so this is actually the staff favorite which is kind of cool it says uh, two sturdy tips once of uh, awesome marker damn straight i know they're they make awesome markers so the monotone one and for all acrylic twin marker is a uh, filled with highly opaque acrylic based ink that flows through two different tips one tip is a 1.5 millimeter and on one end and then the other one's a four millimeter on the other Okay, so we got it in the uh, color 204 True Blue. Oh no, this one's the four millimeter. And this one is the 1.5 millimeter. This is so cool. And of course, you know, it tells you how to use it. That's pretty cool here. Oh, it says UV resistant and permanent on nearly all surfaces. This marker will be handy for a variety of projects. To begin painting flow, give the marker a good shake, right? Then gently press down on the nib several times on your art surface, and then you're going to see the ink come out. Guys, this is so cool. Okay, so the next one, I do have it. Uh, you, I did a review on them, and I am... I love them a lot. So this is the Copac Drawing Pen in F02. This one retails for $5.95. So here you go, guys. So let's read about this one. It gets, it's, let's see, it gets the feeling of a traditional fountain pen without inking mess. Inky mess, yes. The Copac Drawing Pen features a stainless steel tip, per perfect for inking and drawing. Achieves a variety of line widths by simply changing your writing pressure. The water-based dye ink won't bleed when used with Copic products or other markers. Mm -hmm, we test that out before. However, it, it's not waterproof. Be sure to let ink or water dry completely before using the pen over it. All right, so we have a bonus item for uh, for our art snacks for the month of July. So this one is, so we have a Grum Batcher watercolor paper sample pad. This is what it looks like. 
and it says here this month we've included a sample pad for uh for you to try out your new supplies this is a 140 this is a cold press paper in excellent for it's excellent for wet media such as ink and water okay that's that's cool probably gonna add this to my giveaway box for the end of the year i'm gonna be doing a big big end of the year giveaway giveaway box so whatever i don't use during the whole year like example like a whole bunch of stuff from art snacks are one of that i don't use a lot so i definitely gonna be adding a couple of things into my uh end of the year giveaway box so i guess that's it guys i hope you guys like this video this art snacks i i definitely was happy with one of the things here and you know that has to be the marker that i love the most and i love uh molotone and the next and also i'm definitely excited to try out this new ink it's pretty cool so I hope you guys like this video. I hope uh, um, you enjoy these art snacks that I'm going to be doing now for like six months, I think. I think I got the plan for six months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, the art snacks for the month of July was really good. I, I, I Out of all the products, I think I definitely like the watercolor ink one because that was pretty cool. Um, drying it all out and then reviving it with water. That was pretty cool awesome it's like magic <laughs> and the next and then definitely i like my copic i have one of those i love them and definitely the molito uh, the double-sided twin marker who wouldn't like that that's awesome i want to see if they have more colors maybe get a couple of them and then review those guys for you other than that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video and don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to follow all my social media especially my instagram because i do post a lot of stuff there and i've been doing this cool instagram where on my story you can ask me any question and i will answer it so if you guys don't follow me already go to my instagram at zuki underscore art and go ask me some questions all right, all right guys so this is your girl mizuki and i am out Pew.